He also creates the Last Supper, and here we see figures crammed into a non-existent space with color adding to the fervor. Now, if you think back to Leonardo's Last Supper, we see a space that is intentionally small to play up the emotion. Now, Nold is taking that one step further, creating a space where it's impossible for these figures to do anything but exist as a tiny group around this one central figure. The faces have the appearance of masks more than human faces. Just the, the use of outline, the use of simplified form is making us read them a little bit differently. We see a focus on strong, although almost unhuman emotions. And we see the compression of the group giving this idea of impending doom, of a group of people sort of almost in a large hug, hoping that this combined spirituality, this combined desire can save the day, can save the figure at the center who is Jesus. And the use of color throws it off too, because Jesus is not traditionally depicted in red, yet the use of the color red gives us a sense of passion, that incredible primitive passion that he's trying to assign to the apostles and to Jesus, this religious fervor that again comes up. So it's not that he's being disrespectful. It's not that he's trying to create a stir. It's that he's trying to get across this primitive passion that he sees in these scenes. But because of his primitive approach, that's going to cause significant issues. His use of color causes issues too. You see the use of reds and greens that give this very inhuman feel to some of these figures. Now, let's look at, for example, this figure, this sort of William Shakespeare looking figure in the back. Uh, we see him with this green face. And if it were one, I would say, okay, well, that's Judas. That makes sense. But of course, we see it again here and here and here. So these green faces give us a sense of almost death. And yet, other faces, including Jesus's, has the same sort of greenish hue. Now, again, that's trying to use red and green, putting them together, giving you a sense of energy. And yet, here, it almost becomes muddied. So, that primitivism is working against him in terms of the composition. This is part of what will get him termed a degenerate artist later on. And it all comes from a misunderstanding of Noel. 